Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Today I'm going to show you how to make these interesting 3D forms and shapes that basically has some text in it. Uh, that's a different trick, how to add text or how to add a logo or any kind of vector files into these shapes. As you can see, this one is like basically edited, this one isn't and uh, this one is in perspective and this one is not it looks like an isometric grid system so yeah i'm gonna create a new artboard but before we do that if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates okay now i'm gonna create a new artboard right here i'm gonna use my logo as a reference uh, i'm gonna go and create the uh, the first box First square, I'm gonna select, let me see, a black. Make sure your stroke is on, uh, you know, it doesn't contain any color. So if it has some color in it, just click none. And make sure your fill is on the top. So you don't run into complications. I'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt and create the first square. Now I'm gonna go to the effects, 3D, extrude and bevel, bevel, I don't know. And now you can see that it starts to come to, you know, make, to have some 3D effects going on. <coughs> now this is the, this could be a perfect box, I don't know, but you can increase or decrease the, uh, you know, the depth of the box. You can make it longer or not. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna eyeball it because I really don't know if, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm somewhere around this position with the cube. You also can modify the cube from here. So, you know, it's it's more precise. See that? It's uh, way more precise like that. I just wanna, you know, something like this. And almost done. Yeah. So this is it. But I also want to... <clears throat> I, I want to make so, you know, like all of the three dimensions to be more visible so you can add more text there. But yeah, it's almost done. It's a little bit of a boring process, but you get there. Anyways, I'm not playing the perfection game right now. Okay, so this is the box. Uh, I'm gonna click OK. <clears throat> As you can see, it's uh, black. You can't see nothing in it. If you are using a different kind of colors, I can repaint this with uh, other colors so you can see all the three uh, dimensions it's gonna put like a dark and uh, less darker and a lighter shape in there but i just gonna go and leave it full black at the moment and now i'm gonna select the text or logo or whatever vector i want and go to the symbols if you don't have the symbols go to windows and select symbols now i'm gonna, just gonna drag it here and click OK. Now we got a symbol. As you can see, there's a little plus going in there that ind indicates that now it's a symbol. So I'm gonna click on the box and I'm gonna go here on the appearance. If you if you don't have the appearance, you go to Windows and select appearance. And here you click to add 3D extrude and bevel. You go back basically to the options of the 3D. And you select the map art okay so here you can see uh, not right now we're wor working with this square because it's in red so I'm gonna click on this on the symbol and I'm gonna select the new symbol and here you can scale it down unfortunately you can't use actually I think wait a sec you still can um, I'm gonna clear I'm gonna do it again so you can use the shift but uh, it won't uh, put it right where you want it it won't snap it that's the problem 
So anyways, I'm just gonna do... Uh, basically, I'm just gonna eyeball it to see what is gonna happen. <clears throat> This should be okay. So how to put, uh, you know, other text on the other side. Basically, you press this little arrow and you just search. The second one is right here. This one is not visible. So we're just going to leave it like that. This one isn't. Next. This one is the bottom. That's not visible. Okay, this is it. This is the left one. So we're going to select the new symbol. <coughs> As you can see, we need to rotate this. Uh, I'm gonna rotate. Just a sec. There you go. And scale it down. Press and hold shift, scale it. And it should be, the center should be somewhere around here. I'm gonna make it smaller. Yeah, something like this. It's pretty cool. It's not perfect, but uh, you know, you get the main idea. There you go. Now it's now it's legit. Click next, and this is the top. And this is pretty good how it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna click OK, <clears throat> and click OK again. And now we have this cube going on with the text in it. As you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, I also gonna create the other one. So I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold Alt and drag it. And now I'm gonna go back here to the 3D Extrude and Bevel. Click previews and go to perspective right here. So as you increase the perspective, you can see it just became in perspective. It's like you're watching it from the top. I mean, not the top, but uh, it really seems like it's in three dimension. This one isn't really. This one is like isometric. I'm also going to show you how this is done. This is also a pretty cool method. So I'm going to create a new copy. I'm going to go and expand appearance. Now I'm going to ungroup it two times, three times. You need to ungroup it three times. And basically I need to delete some anchor points. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool from the menu. I'm going to go to this edge, click, press and hold shift. Click on this one and on this one, three, and these three edges, I'm going to press delete and delete again. So basically deleted that invisible something. I'm going to select them all, select the, this, the eyedropper tool or press I and just, you know, repaint everything in black. <coughs> I'm going to go and select the sides of the cube, press shift plus X, or you just click this thing, swap fill and stroke, and it just switches. Okay, I'm gonna increase the thickness or just decrease the cube. Does the same thing. Yeah, this one's pretty okay. I'm gonna go and expand object, expand. And now I'm gonna delete the unnecessary edges by going to this. The shape, select the shape builder tool and press and hold Alt. So as you can see the, at the arrow, there's a minus going on, so I can delete. So press and if you press and hold Alt, you're gonna delete the elements I wanted. I think I also can like um, put these manually, like uh, more here. Not bad. Okay, I think it's good. It's pretty badass. So yeah, this is how you make these 3D effects, how you use, you know, the 3D and add some uh, texture on or any kind of elements on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos, the other episodes also. And have a great day. Bye bye.